Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? And welcome to this morning's Positive EFT session. So if you're around, come and let me know that you're joining me. And if you're watching on the replay, you are equally as welcome. And please put in hashtag replay so that I know you've been here. OK, so how is everyone doing today? And um, for those of you who are new to the group, my name is Yvonne and I'm an EFT practitioner and personal development coach. And I help women like you and me who struggle with confidence to believe in themselves again. OK, so maybe you were confident at one stage in your life and it was taken away or you lost it. Um, my story is I was confident at, when I was a teenager, I thought. Um, and then bit by bit, things that happen in your life, it slowly disintegrates. And before you realize that your self-esteem is on the floor and you've no confidence left, I found my way back. And that's what I help women do. I help them find their way back to them. OK, and one of the ways I do that is through EFT, which stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. And it's otherwise known as tapping. So when we tap, we tap on the upper body acupressure points. And what that does is it helps to regulate the stress response. So if you're having a stress response, um, it could be in the form of anxiety, um, emotional. It could, you could get very emotional. Um, it can a stress response can show up in any form. OK, and it's to be able to identify that and recognize it when it does happen. And that's what I that's what EFT EFT helps you do. Hello, Mary. How are you? So EFT is a really powerful tool that I have been using for a while now, and I'm very passionate about it because I feel that it's one of the best tools out there because it helps you to acknowledge what's going on, to accept what's going on and releasing it. OK, and it helps you to come up with a solution. Hello, Sheila. How are you doing? I hope you enjoyed your holidays. Um, OK, so <clears throat> good morning, Teresa. Good stuff. OK, so how is everybody doing this morning? I hope the weather isn't getting to you. It's torrential rain here. I love the rain. I love the sound of it. So we have a natural soundscape this morning. I have the window open. Um, I love the sound of the rain. And it's easy to love the rain when you're not out in it. <laughs> so, good morning, Sylvia. How are you? Okay, so this morning's cards. Good morning, Donna. How are you doing? Uh, this morning's cards are a really lovely one. Hello, Sharon. How are you doing? Good stuff. Good morning, Marie. You caught me live. Finally. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. So, are from... Louise Hayes Heart Thoughts, beautiful cards, and she has something to say about everything. She has a way of saying things, and I just, I resonate with her, and I think most of you do too. I got them on Amazon. Somebody was asking me the other day, where did I get them? Got them on Amazon. Um, I have another shipment coming tomorrow. Can't wait. Lots of more cards, so I'll share them with you. Um, okay, so the first card is, my home is a peaceful haven. Okay, beautiful card. Okay, my home is a peaceful haven. Very important. There was a time when it wasn't. It's a long time ago, but there was a time when it wasn't. Okay. My home is a reflection of myself. As I clean out the closets of my mind, I also make my home a wonderful place to live in. Okay. So I definitely resonate with that. Definitely. There was a time when it wasn't. And uh, yeah, it's very important. Your home is your, it's your place where you should be able to retreat and recuperate and be happy. Okay. And if it's not, if that's not the case, then, you know, maybe have a look at how you could change that. Okay. And if anybody needs help with that, reach out to me because I've been here and I know what that's like. Okay. It's one of my specialities. <laughs> Okay, and then the other card, which I think goes really nicely with it, from the Daily Healing Deck, from Ina Sigal, beautiful cards, Tree of Life. And it's very appropriate for today's weather. <laughs> but look at the way the tree is blossoming and nourished in that, even though there's clouds behind it. And on the back, what it says, be aware that your thoughts and feelings are just as impactful as your actions okay be aware 
that your thoughts and feelings are just as impactful as your actions. Okay, and that can be to yourself. Doesn't it? Can, doesn't necessarily have to be somebody else. How you think about yourself, how you speak to yourself. Ask yourself how you know if you said what you say to yourself to a child or a best friend, or you know somebody else, or if you heard somebody saying some of the things you say to yourself to somebody else, how would you feel? Okay, your home is your heart center. Absolutely, Sharon. It should absolutely yes, exactly. Your home is your heart center. And that saying, home is where the heart is? Absolutely. Okay. So be aware that your thoughts and feelings are just as impactful as your actions. Very important message today. Um, my home is a peace haven. Your home should be a peace haven. That's your right. Okay, and if it's not, then it's time to take a look at that. Okay, and if you need help with that, reach out to me, please. Okay, so let's do the top. Let's get ready. Okay, so let's ground ourselves. Yes, they are great cards. Very strong message today. Something I'm very powerful about or very passionate about. Um, so yeah, great message. Um, okay, so hi Jenny, how are you doing? Okay, so whenever you're ready, I want you to remove your footwear and place both feet on the ground. Okay. I'm gonna ground ourselves. So whatever is going on in your head as you woke up this morning, um, depending where you are, maybe you're in the middle of your day. I know we have lots of different time zones in this group. So maybe you're in the middle of the day, maybe you're at the end of your day. Whatever is going on in your head right now, just park it and allow that grounding to bring you in. So feel the cold underneath you. Okay, and allow that to connect for you to connect with your mind, body and soul. Allow it to bring you out of your head and into the now. Okay. And I want you to just do a quick body scan and just check in with yourself and see how you're feeling today. And ask yourself, what do you need? What do you need from me today? What can I do for, for you to help you today? To help me feel better? Okay, and then we're going to take our dominant hand Place it over our heart, followed by our other hand. And then we're going to take three deep heart breaths and we're really going to lean into them today and really feel the benefit of them, okay? These are what I consider my hugs to myself, okay? Because we can't hug people right now. That's the perfect, this is the perfect opportunity to give yourself a big hug, okay? So whenever you're ready, take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Take another deep breath in. And breathe out. And one more deep breath in. And breathe out. And now just allow those deep breaths to circulate around your body. And just enjoy how they make you feel. Okay? Enjoy that calm response. Because a deep breath tells your body that everything is okay. Okay. And now we're going to take two fingers and taking full responsibility for our own well being, we're going to gently tap around the acupressure points. Okay? So if this is your first time, just do as I do and say as I say, and just um, bar the benefits, okay? So, starting on the eyebrow point, and either repeat it after me, either in your head or out loud. My home is a peaceful haven. And if these words don't resonate for you right now, just bar the benefits, okay? Hi Trish, side of the eye. My home is a reflection of myself. Under the eye, as I clean out the closets of my mind. Under the nose, I also make my home. Under the mouth, a wonderful place to live in. 
collarbones. I am aware that my thoughts and feelings under the arm are just as impactful top of the head as my actions. Back to the eyebrow. My home is a peaceful haven. Side of the eye. My home is a reflection of myself. Under the eye. As I clean out the closets of my mind. Under the nose. I also make my home under the mat, a wonderful place to live in. Collarbones, I am aware that my thoughts and feelings under the arm are just as impactful as my actions. Top of the head, my home is a peaceful haven. <clears throat> And then we're going to do a finish off with a round of relaxing and releasing. <coughs> Back to the eyebrow, relaxing and releasing. Side of the eye, relaxing and releasing. Any resistance. Under the eye, relaxing and releasing. Any resistance to these affirmations today. Under the nose. Relaxing, releasing, and letting go. And breathe into that if you need to. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Under the mouth. Relaxing, releasing, and letting go. And visualize letting go as you see it. Collarbones. Relaxing, releasing, and letting go of any negative thoughts that come into my mind today. Under the arm, because they serve me no purpose, they just keep me stuck. So for today, I'm going to observe, observe, I'm going to observe my thoughts and see what they're trying to tell me. Top of the head, feeling grounded, feeling safe feeling positive as I go about my day. And then we're going to finish off in the third eye, which is our intuition. And so it is. Gently stop tapping. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. And then whenever you're ready, I want you to put in the comments, and so it is. And as you do that, I want you to visualize sending your bolt of positivity out into the world, out into the universe, out to anyone who needs it today. And don't forget to include yourself in that intention. Okay. Hi, Olivia. Good stuff. So, okay. How did that feel? Um, I hope that resonated with you. Definitely that resonated with me. And these are the things that we work about in my programs. Um, at the moment, uh, tonight actually, we have Masterclass 2 on Empower Me. And uh, two of the things we're dealing with tonight are limiting beliefs, finding the benefits behind limiting beliefs. Believe it or not, there is a benefit to having a limiting belief. OK, uh, thank you, Mary. Thank you, Sharon. There absolutely is a benefit behind limiting beliefs. Uh, that sets you up for the day. No bother, Sheila. You're very welcome. Thank you, Marie. Um, yes, yeah, so there is a benefit to having a limiting belief. If there wasn't, we wouldn't have it. But what's the benefit to that? So if you have a limiting belief at the minute, ask yourself. So, for example, uh, some of the things that are coming up on the, on the, on the class is um, fear of failure, not feeling good enough, feeling anxious about moving forward, um, feeling anxious about different relationships and not being true to yourself. So those are the things that are kind of coming up. And these are the things that we're, we're 
going to dig deep into it tonight and we're going to find out what are the benefits. What's the benefit behind the fear of failure? Okay, so one of the benefits, to give you an example, one of the benefits behind having a fear of failure is that um, if you're afraid of failing, then if you don't take a risk or if you don't take a chance on whatever it is you're afraid of, then you won't, you won't fail because you haven't tried. So it's a story you tell yourself. If I, if, I, if I do this, I'm going to fail, so I'm not going to do it. Okay? But by not doing it, what are you missing out on? What are you preventing yourself from experiencing? What, um, what are you keeping out of your life? Okay? So, and then we are tapping on releasing all those things and digging deep. And we are releasing something that's really big, and that's guilt. We all suffer from a dose of the guilt. I don't know one person who doesn't. Okay? So we're releasing that tonight. Um, so, and I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a really powerful session. Um, and we are working through the self-empowerment worksheet. So lots of things come up tonight. It's great. So, and on that note, these are the things that we deal with on a monthly basis in the Confidence Academy, which is my monthly subscription group. And just, I want you to put a date in your diary because I know people were asking me, when was it going to open again? I don't have it open all the time. I only open it a couple of times a year for intake. The next in intake is for September and the doors are opening on the 31st of August. So when you when you um, you get to do a seven day uh, free trial in the group to see if it's for you. And if it's not for you, then you just cancel your membership. The membership, the subscription isn't taken for seven days. So uh, you just cancel your subscription and uh, that's it. But you get to experience whether it's for you or not. You get to come in and have a look and have a look around. Uh, you get to see one of the classes. You get to come into Zoom um, and experience what it's like. And uh, yeah, so it's a really nice space. We're doing massive work in there at the minute. And uh, we have a gorgeous group in both places. In Empower Me, we have a gorgeous group. And in the Confidence Academy, we have another gorgeous group. So it's amazing when you're surrounded by like minded people. It's not work. It's gorgeous. It's a lovely space to be. So watch out for that date. It's opening on the intake is opening on the 31st and it's 27 euro a month. So it's very affordable. And in that you get two coaching calls a month and you also get pre-recorded material as well. There's meditations and there's tapping videos. OK, and there's a, a journal as well. OK, so that's it for me this morning. Um, let's go and do the meditation and lift that vibration even further. Mary says, what a luxury to have this self-care in our daily routine. Oh, thanks, Mary. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I missed it, actually. I missed it. I forgot how how much of a buzz I get in it when I did it in the morning. So, yeah, I'm glad I came back in the morning. And that's thanks to you. <laughs> so loved that thanks Yvonne lots of shifting oh wow brilliant good stuff good 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 can't wait Sharon says for tonight's class yay I know I can't wait either I love it um yeah okay cool okay thanks guys have a wonderful day and uh, to empower me I will see you tonight and for the rest of you I'll see you tomorrow okay bye for now have a fantabulous day don't forget to go and do the meditation okay bye now